Hey, it's Rob from Menu Pools. Today we're going to show you how to replace a motor on a Stay Right Maxi Pro. First thing you want to do is go ahead and shut the power off of the breaker. Okay, the first thing you want to do is take this metal clamp off. That'll separate the, uh, the back half of the pump from the front half, which stays plumbed in line. So let's we'll loosen this up. Once you get the clamp off, you can separate the motor from the front half there. All right, so we slid the motor back. Now we, we got to remove the wires. The first one that we're going to remove is the bonding wire down here. So that's just connected by a little quarter inch socket here. All right, we're going to loosen up this screw in the back of this cap. Just a quarter inch socket. And take the cap off. And then we're going to remove these three wires. You got the ground and the two hot lines. Loosen up this conduit adapter. All right, there we go. Now we can take the motor over to a table where it's easy to work on. Okay, so next we're gonna remove the diffuser. You need to remove these six screws. Okay, then you can pull the diffuser off and that'll expose the impeller. And what you'll do before you remove the impeller, you'll have to stabilize the, uh, the back of the shaft. So you can use a half inch wrench to stabilize the shaft. All right, we got it stabilized in the back. Now we're just gonna spin the impeller off counterclockwise. Sometimes the impellers are pretty hard to get off, so you might wanna use a strap wrench to help loosen it up. All right, so we're gonna remove these four bolts uh, that secure the motor to the seal plate. And we're using a 9 16 wrench. Okay, next you can, you can slide the, the plate right off the motor. If it doesn't come really easy, you can use a rubber mallet and pop it right off. Okay, now you want to remove the old shaft seals, a two-part uh, seal, so you can remove the spring portion from the impeller. And pop the uh, the old ceramic shaft seal out of the plate. There you go. All right, one more thing with the spring portion. Sometimes when you pull that off, uh, the inside there's like a, a metal sheath and it stays on the shaft. And when you go try to put the new spring portion on, you can't get it on. You think you might have the right the wrong size. So if there's a metal piece still on there, you want to remove it. All right, um, I'm gonna make sure the spot for the new seal is nice and clean, so just wipe that off with a clean cloth. All right, the shaft seal is a two-part seal. Um, you're gonna wanna put the white ceramic side facing out. You'll put that into the seal plate. And then this spring portion, there's a, there's a metal side with rubber on it, and then the smooth black side. You'll want that smooth black side to be touching the white ceramic when you put it together. So first we'll put the, the white ceramic piece into the seal plate. And uh, you don't want to push that in. You don't want to put your fingers on the white ceramic. You want to press that in with a clean cloth. Make sure it's nice and snug in there. All right, then you're going to put the spring portion on the shaft of the impeller. Again, it's that smooth black side facing, facing out. I'm going to slide that all the way down the shaft of the impeller. And again, you want that smooth black side to be touching the white ceramic when you put it together. All right, we're going to put the seal plate back on the new motor. All right, 
So before we can put the impeller back on, we gotta take this cap off so we can stabilize the shaft. Okay, to stabilize the shaft, you're gonna use a 716th wrench. You just kind of slide it in behind the thermal overload at the top, and then you just spin the uh, shaft until it locks into place, and you'll feel it drop down when it's locked. All right, then you can slide the impeller on, spin it clockwise, and then just keep tightening until it starts to turn the wrench in the back. You don't have to over tighten. Okay, so before you put the diffuser back on, you, you want to replace the uh, diffuser O-ring. So we'll take the old one off and get the new one. And you want to put some silicone or Teflon lubricant on the O-ring. And you don't need a lot, you just need enough to make the, make the O-ring shiny. It's usually just a pea-sized amount is enough. All right, and then you can slide that on the diffuser. And you can pop the diffuser in place. And we'll get the diffuser screws and tighten those. All right, there's a wiring diagram on top of the motor um, that you can follow, but uh, basically the motor come is dual voltage, but it comes set on 230. Uh, there's a little knob down here that you could switch if you, want to, if you want to turn it to 115, um, the installation we're doing is 230 volts, so we'll have two hot wires coming in in the ground. The green ground line will go to this green screw, and the, the black and red hot wires, one will go to L1 and one will go to L2. It doesn't matter which way, because there's, there's no, uh, it's not going to run backwards or anything, so it doesn't matter which one goes to which terminal. We've got it wired up, we've got the green going to the ground, we've got the, the two hot wires going to L1 and L2, so we're ready to Put the cap back on, tighten the two screws, and then uh, slide it into place. Last part of wiring is going to be this uh, the bonding wire. Just reconnect that. Okay, so before we put the two pieces back together, the pump, we're going to replace the housing. O-ring. Again, just use a little bit of silicone or Teflon, Teflon lubricant. And there's a groove in the plate here. All right, so we got the clamp on. We're just going to tighten the knob. As you tighten it, you can kind of tap it loosely with the rubber mallet. Make sure you're getting good contact here. All right, we've got the motor installed. Uh, the only thing you have to do is uh, prime the pump before you turn it on, and uh, that should be it. If you have any questions about this video or, or anything pool related, leave a comment down below or visit us over at Uh Thanks for watching.